What? <laughs> Zane, calm down. How can I be calm? You and Aaron kissed. Huh? Did you feel that? There's a disturbance. I think we need to check on Afmal. Sure, go ahead. We all know how that scenario plays out. <laughs> no, uh, never mind. No thanks, I'll just stick to reading fanfics online about me and her. I knew it! Oh shut up, Garmal3407 on Wattpad. We all know you read fanfics about you and her too. For the last time, that isn't my account! Oh, interesting. Your browser history says different. Okay! <laughs> How am I supposed to be calm about this? That explains why you two were so awkward and blushing at dinner last night! Now I know I wasn't imagining things. I swore I saw you two holding hands under the table for a brief moment! Uh, what? How did you have time to even see that? When Jeffrey purposely bumped into me, I dropped my breadstick. Ten second rule, but I know what I saw! Ugh... <sighs> I don't understand why you're so riled up about this. It's not like we're dating, we just got caught up in the moment. That's my problem! You're not dating! What? If he's going to make a move on you, then he's going to have to date you! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Zane, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not how love works. You just can't force someone into a relationship because it's convenient. What's with the sword? Where are you going? To force him to date you because it's convenient! Zane! Zane, stop. Since when did you become this overprotective? Uh, well, since I became your friend, I would think that it's my duty to make sure you're happy. <laughs> Zane, <laughs> uh, what you did right now is thoughtful, yes, but you're trying to force something that shouldn't be forced. What do you mean? He kissed you and you kissed him back. That means you love each other, right? <laughs> well, you didn't let me finish before you stormed off. Aaron and I are going to keep things casual and <laughs> see where it leads. We're not official or anything like that, and honestly, we would like to remain great friends for now. But, but maybe we'll go on a date occasionally or something like that. I just don't get it. Wouldn't that be awkward? Uh, not really. We had a long talk about this after dinner last night. We just want to take it slow for now and see where it goes. I still don't understand. But as long as you're happy... But I swear, if he hurts you... Zane, I'll... calm down. Aaron and I are very mature. Says the girl whose pony collection is greater than mine. <laughs> <sighs> Zane, you... Fine. Maybe I just jumped to conclusions. Aaron seems like a good guy. It's just I don't know him very well, and I just want you to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Off, Mao, are you okay? Oh, I saw Zane trying to make a move on you, and I... Lucinda? Uh, no, 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 Zane is my friend now. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. What did you do to him? Uh, just a little sleeping potion. He should wake up within the hour. Mm, sorry about that. I've been out of town for so long. <sighs> I guess people can change. Even Zane. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's carry him inside and set him on the couch. Then you and I can have a little catch-up date over some tea. Uh, sure, uh, that sounds wonderful, uh, but will Zane be okay? <laughs> He'll be fine, trust me. Now come on, let's go inside. <sighs> Sheesh. He's so much heavier than he looks. I can't believe you managed to carry him in here on your own. You must work out. <laughs> well, you gotta be tough if you want to live with Caitlyn. She'll just randomly punch you sometimes. 
<sighs> anyway, Lucinda, are you sure he's gonna be okay? I'm positive. It's just a minor sleep potion. Hmm. Uh, uh. He's breathing normally and seems fine. <sighs> well, if you say so. I'll wait here at your place until he wakes up. I still can't believe he's your friend. Are you sure that's a great idea? <laughs> yes, he's harmless. He's just a bit... vengeful, spiteful. His soul is a black abyss of burning agony. But but he's a really nice guy once you get to know him. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> Anyway, I have so many questions to ask you, and so many things to talk to you about. <laughs> same! I can't believe you moved into the same neighborhood! It's gonna be awesome having you here! R Hold that thought, sweets. I'm going to get some tea and cakes for us to have while we can chat. Mm? Okay. <laughs> oh, Zane. Huh. He's dreaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I'm right here, Zane. <laughs> he looks so peaceful when he's sleeping. Like an angry little baby man. <laughs> huh. I wonder what's taking Lucinda. Hmm. Um, maybe if I... Huh. Oh, oh, don't want to get too close. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to put the tea on. Luckily, I have some cake and milk. Help yourself. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks, Lucinda. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> ah, so I wanted to ask, um, what brings you back to town? I thought you were living with your boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. <gasps> <clears throat> oh, Lucinda, I... I'm so sorry. I really am. Apusha. No worries. Oh, wait, was it Ivan? Yep. Wait, I... I thought you guys had broken up once before. Yeah, but then we got back together. Um, do you mind if I ask you what happened? Well, sure. The first time we broke up was because he didn't pay attention to my feelings. This time we broke up because we've been watching The Walking Dead together when I found out that he watched the next season without me. <gasps> No! Mm-hmm. It led into this whole conversation about the original reason we broke up, and things got messy from there, so I decided to come back to town and just live here. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see so many familiar faces here in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, we've all just kind of gravitated to this place. That's awesome! I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys more. We should have a ladies' night. Maybe I can get you guys to watch a series with me without going ahead. <laughs> Just so you know, Lucinda, I binge watch everything. Aaron and I do that a lot. <laughs> Speaking of who, are you disappointed you didn't get to that kiss from him? Uh, no. No. Wow, your face is beat red. Are you okay? me <laughs> but, huh what something happened <gasps> what are you talking about you have a dead tail there all right spill the beans what happened between you two? Oh, what was that oh it's a that's a that's a doorbell i i i bet you stay here lucinda i better get it it might be the pizza we just ordered i thought we didn't order a pizza <laughs> yes, we did. We better get it while it's abs. I mean, hot, 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 hot. hot yes, let's. <laughs> Abba, get back here. This isn't even your house. Why are you answering the door? Because I can't, Lucinda. <laughs> oh, hello there, neighbor Sama. Koi Chan wanted to introduce herself to you and welcome you to the neighbor. Uh, Abba, Senpai. <laughs> Think Irene, you're here, Koi Chan. Whoa, 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 wait, did, did our boss senpai move out of the house without telling Kawaii-chan? Uh, ah, no, 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 I would never 
Kawaii Chan. No, that's not it. I'm just here visiting Luc Kawaii Chan. Uh, oh, now I remember. Uh, Lucinda Chan. Uh, d don't don't you two kind of have like a bad? Well, not bad, but like a, like a Kawaii Chan. You're welcome to come inside. Uh, oh. Lucinda Chan lives here? <laughs> yep, she lives here, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kawaii Chan will try to be friendly with her. She's right there, you know. Kawaii Chan, <sighs> come on. You and Lucinda need to talk about this. Lucinda, you need to talk to Kawaii Chan. We had a maid cafe together in the city at one point a long time ago. Uh, Yes, I know, and I also know that you guys were the reason why maid cafes were <laughs> banned from the city for a period of time. Um, but, but, but now that's over, and there's a new maid cafe, and Kawaii Chan and I actually work there. So, y you? <laughs> yes, but we'll get into that later, Lucinda. You and Kawaii Chan need to make up for whatever it was that caused you both to lose the cafe. Kawaii Chan and Lucinda lost the cafe because Lucinda Chan kept trying to make cakes with potions and spells. Kawaii Chan wouldn't listen to me, and she ended up making more sweets than needed, which meant sweets would spoil, and we'd lose money by having to buy more. So I had to do something to duplicate the ingredients. Uh, Kawaii Chan makes as many sweets as her heart desires. Uh, that's stubborn, Kawaii Chan. Things don't work that way. Well, maybe things should. Well, maybe if you weren't so stubborn, we'd still be running a maid cafe together. It's not Kawaii Chan's fault Lucinda Chan kept blowing up the place! That only happened because you kept mixing the wrong potions! That's because Lucinda Chan kept mixing them with the baking supplies! Don't let Kawaii Chan I can't believe you couldn't just organize the ingredients! I mean, Lucinda seriously, how the heck do you mistake a potion for a bag of sugar? We oh, can entertain I without fancy spells! Sometimes. I don't even. We'll show you a fancy spell! What happened? What the. Gah! Zane? Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Why <laughs> <laughs> can't even? <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Why <laughs> can't forgot how funny Lucinda cut spells could be sometimes. Oh, we missed you, Kawaii Chan. Oh, let's never fight again. Oh, meow, 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 meow. You're such a cutie patootie little meow, kitty. Meow, Look at the little uh, whiskers and the meow, little meow, nose meow, and the ears. Oh, you meow, even have meow, a little air flippy thing meow, going meow, on over the side of meow, your meow, eye. Meow, oh, meow, my meow, gosh. Zane, you're just the most adorable meow, little meow, kitty cat I've ever meow, seen. Meow, oh, I want to keep you like this forever. Oh, my gosh. You're the cute little winter one. Oh, my gosh. You're the baby. Oh, the baby kitty. You're so cute. Meow, 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 me